I didn't really believe it. <laughs> I think it took a moment for it to all sink in, but I definitely appreciate all the support that I've had throughout the season, which is, it's been so great. Capital High School is now home to a new state champion. Rock Rien won first place at the state championship tournament for speech and debate this past weekend. Good morning, Capital. I'm Oscar McCann, and today we highlight student success experienced by several Capital Cougars. First, reporter Carly Cockrell sits down with Rock McGay, winner of the speech and debate tournament. The Capital Speech and Debate team won big this week and did the state championships. Rock McGay won first place out of all of Washington State with her speech, What's in a Name? Um, I got first, which was wonderful. I didn't really believe it. <laughs> I think it took a moment for it to all sink in, but I definitely appreciate all the support that I've had throughout the season, which is, it's been so great. Her speech is about her experiences being a young black Muslim woman in America. I think I used to be a little bit quieter towards the beginning of the season, but I think now I pour a lot more emotion into my public speaking, and that's really helped my speech because it shows that you have passion for what you're talking about, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. Rachma also won first place at districts, and will be heading to nationals in June. Um, so I believe after districts, they pick the top two, I believe, and then um, you could go to nationals. After each tournament, um, I read the feedback of the judges. They let me know of different things that I can add, you know, certain things that I can fix up in terms of my performance too, how I express myself. So it's been really, really great having that feedback because it's helped make my speech better. Congratulations to Rockma and everyone who competed at State. Reporting for Coog TV, I'm Carly Cockrell. Turning to other news this morning, the student athletes at Capitol have been experiencing great success. Some of these athletes include Hannah and Amanda Mall. Miles Salvi reports. As the track and field season gets underway, we are going to highlight two amazing track and field athletes. The Mall twins, Amanda and Hannah, are record-holding pole vaulters. They recently competed in the National Indoor Track and Field Meet. They competed with professional, college, and Olympic athletes. It was definitely an eye-opening experience competing against people who have been to Olympics and are on a world le level of competition. Mm -hmm. At first, it was really intimidating, but um, they were really nice people, and they kind of just, like, led us under their wings, um, and we were able to, like, warm up to them, and then it wasn't so intimidating, and then it just became, like, really cool to see them from like eye level. Amanda placed fourth and tied the indoor high school female national record with a vault of 14 feet 9 inches. Hannah placed seventh with a height of 14 feet and 5 and 1 quarter inches. She also recently won an indoor meet at the University of Washington and reached her personal record when she vaulted 14 feet 8 inches in January. These two athletes have done everything together. They've done gymnastics, rock climbing, and pole vaulting together, but they don't let that competition separate them. I honestly love it because we kind of push each other. It's a lot better than like um, just training by yourself because especially in practice, um, we're, yeah, we're continuously pushing each other and I always have a support teammate and friend right beside me. It's like competing with a friend. It's, it's I, don't, I don't think of her as a competitor, but I also do at the same time. It's kind of weird, but it's also like really good these two have been called the most exciting high school track and field athletes since pole vaulters Lexi and Tori Weeks, and they're just getting started. Reporting for Coog TV, I'm Miles Salvi. But these aren't the only Capital athletes achieving big accomplishments. This weekend, our archery team competed in NASP remote state competition. Both Alden Whitney and Jonas Brown placed in the top 10 for high school boys. Additionally, Madison Moffitt took eighth place for high school girls. And now, here's Sam with what's good to know. Interested in becoming a pediatrician? HOSA will be hosting guest speaker Dr. Beth Harvey from South Sound Pediatrics on Friday, March 18th during Coop Time. See Mrs. Mattis in C10 for more information. The spring semi-formal dance is coming up next month, so mark your calendars for Saturday, April 23rd from 7.30 to 10. Dance the night away under a big old tent out on the track, just like homecoming. Tickets will be on sale soon. And finally, lunch today is breaded chicken drumsticks with mashed potatoes. And that's what's good to know. Well, that's all for today's broadcast. Make it a good morning, Capital.
Thank you for watching Coog TV. Next, the Pledge of Allegiance. You may now stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.